And today we got to talk about this frat party that has football players facing in prison time. Like, what did y'all do at this frat party? Like, let's see. Let's see. It was a party that six black college football players wish they never went to. But why is these kids under attack? Things got violent when white party goers allegedly called them the N-word. But in a twist, Ooh. the players are the ones now facing 10 to 20 years in prison. I'm Justin Carter and this is TSR Investigates. Saturday, March 6th, at the typical Saturday night at the University of Kentucky, Alpha Sigma Phi, which is a predominantly white fraternity, they're hosting an off-campus private party. Three black U of K football players, they see it advertised on social media, they decide to go. Also, some of them say that see. it's a house that they've been to before, but this night it was a little bit different. Well, we gotta do something about like this today. DeVito Tisdale Sr. is speaking on behalf of his son, DeVito Tisdale Jr. DeVito Jr. is a safety for the U of K, facing first-degree burglary charges, along with his teammates Ruben Adams, Robert McLean, Andrew Phillips, Ernest Sanders, and Joel Williams. Dang. It started when police say three of the guys arrived at the frat party uninvited and were asked to leave. We got our hands on the University of Kentucky's student conduct report that says that the group was initially met outside by an unidentified girl in a blue jersey who asked who they were and told them that they were not welcome. Another player also claimed that somebody called them the N-word as soon as they walked in the house. Now in a separate report, police said that the players got upset, threatened to come back, and when they did, they brought more people who allegedly forced their way into the home. Once it's See, that's where you go wrong. If you wasn't invited, sorry, I'm sorry, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but if you spell it out that you don't want me around, boo, <laughs> That's all you got to say and best believe me. I promise you that door behind me will not be hit, okay? Like, I don't know what this is. Like, how they just decided to just keep going in there. See, they did this for themselves. Like, they got themselves in this trouble. You're, you're doing too much. You're getting forced back in. And Tisdale pulled a gun. She's not a gun back and forth. Neither are these kids. So the where'd the gum Kentucky come from? Held a series of student conduct hearings See. in an effort to get the full story. Those documents, though, are heavily redacted due to privacy laws. But one witness, they said that Tisdale pulled a gun from his waistband. Another one saying that he pointed it at somebody. But a gun was never recovered from the scene. Mm. The board later said, quote, reports of a gun or guns were hearsay. And that there was not a preponderance See. of evidence to say with certainty that anybody had a gun. And where'd that come from? Lies. Someone trying to destroy a kid. His father Hell believes yeah. there's a motive behind these charges, especially since the charges were filed on August 19th, around the time that the football season was starting. Wow. All six have been sidelined as their head coach, Mark Stoops, awaits the outcome of the case. We've been patient. Our players have been patient. Um, and you have to to trust the system. And this is enough to slander him. It was reported that a number of people were injured, including several women who claimed that they were punched in the face. One woman even saying that she was pushed against the wall by her neck. The hearing board did agree that over a dozen students were responsible for either harm or threat of harm that night, as well as several COVID-19 guideline violations. Mm. They concluded that alcohol and the use of racial slurs played a significant role, yet there was a significant number of students involved and no clear determination on who actually started this. So why are these six students being criminally charged? I spoke to a former Kentucky detective, Denny Butler, who says that he has some serious problems with this case. They were reinstated to the football team, and then I think it was two, three weeks later, these charges pop up out of nowhere, and, and it just kind of threw everybody for a loop. And, now that's and, fishy. Uh, yeah, the, the stories just don't seem to add up. Butler is retired and now spends his days helping exonerate innocent people wrongfully convicted of serious crimes. But the way I look at their case, it's a recipe for a wrongful conviction. All six players have pled not guilty, and a preliminary hearing has been waived to a grand jury. 
It is still unclear when exactly that will happen, but one of the football players did write a letter to the university stating that he plans to file charges with the city of Lexington. He feels that he's been a victim of a hate crime. The fraternity Alpha Sigma Phi, they're currently on probation right now. We also learned that they were never authorized to host parties in the first place due to previous conduct violations. We did reach out to their national branch. We're waiting to hear back from them. In the meantime, the football players, they do have legal representation, but they need your help. They've launched a GoFundMe page to help out with the cost. For TSR Investigates. Well, that's interesting. Like, I guess they just didn't... Um I don't know, something sound fishy with that one because y'all waited to file charges from something that happened March 6th. Like, y'all waited for the football season to start. Yeah, something's fishy with that. And then, like, with this party, y'all wasn't even supposed to have parties. So, y'all, they blew that one. Like, they blew that one. Like, seriously. Um, but this is why you shouldn't, um... You just shouldn't even put yourself in that type of situation. Like, I just, I know that, you know, it, it can be hard, like, being at a party or whatever, but wanting to go to a party, no, 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 no. Like, it just, don't put yourself in that situation. Like, if they said they don't, y'all ain't supposed to be there, then just leave. Like, don't even fight it. But, you know... They're, they're young. Obviously, they're in college. So, I just hope that, you know, true du true justice is served. And, you know, if they were truly innocent, then they need to be exonerated from that. So, let me guys know what you think in the comments. Give me a like. I will see y'all my next one. Bye.